Good day everyone and welcome to my channel Fit A Little Bit. Please subscribe to this channel so these videos can continue to come your way by pressing the red arrow button at the bottom of the screen. And also I have a website at www.fitalittlebit. The subject of the channel today is sort of a sad subject. It is bullying. B-U-L-L-Y-I-N-G. If you hear anything in the background, that's my dog Gucci. He goes everywhere I go. He breathes hard when I'm talking to other people. So he's a little jealous and don't want me talking to you guys. But I'm going to talk about bullying. Um, this is part of the relationship fitness aspect of this channel and how important, you know, relationships are. Bullying has turned into a big thing in our society and I think it has always been there but I think people are talking about it more and people are confessing more that um, they're making life decisions based on the fact that they have been bullied maybe everybody don't understand what bullying is um, and they usually make reference to bullying as it relates to children but the bullying also takes place in the workplace you know with um, adults well I say children camouflaging as adults because to be bullying someone at a job is just 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 immature and ignorant I actually was a part um, of a bullying incident which I'll tell you at the end I decided I would talk about this today because um, that's something that's been talked about in my life just this week I think today is like Wednesday um, I have a friend who has a, a child that's five and she's being bullied in the kindergarten and bullying is about force or coercion or threatening people or using um, threats to force people to do certain things or to just make them feel uncomfortable. Um, it's one step from being an assault, okay, which is, you know, a felony. In some states, um, bullying is a crime and it really should be taken seriously. In my professional opinion, a person that is a bully you know, before the age 12 or 13, um, that's just a major character flaw. Not 100%, but I think eventually there's going to turn into, you know, an assault. And an assault is something that's offensive to the person that's receiving it. So that's subjective. I mean, it's just based on the person that's receiving it. So bullying should be taken real seriously. And like I said, in some states, they put you out of the school system. Um, they put it on your um, criminal record. As they should because you should be able to go you know to school in those places you know of that nature and learn you know and not be um, intimidated or, or threatened or basically harassed by another um, young person I'm, I'm just appalled that it begins at such a young age um, and it carries on to into the workplace as adults as I said you know I had that experience myself a couple of um, weeks ago a couple of months ago so my five-year-old, my friend's five-year-old daughter, she's just a typical little five-year-old happy little kid. Um, she's five, you know. She just likes to play and laugh and everything is great. She likes repeating her numbers out loud to anybody that will listen. She likes reading. Even though she really can't read, she you know, reads the pictures. I mean, she's not a bad kid. and But she's a little heavier, heftier, I guess, than her peers in her class. So they start calling her fat. She was so sad. We picked her up from school. She was so sad. And she's normally a very happy little girl. And um, she's like, you know, my friend's baby. That's, you know, her last child. It's really just her and her. And it was really disheartening, you know, to know that the kids start off being so mean, you know, in kindergarten. And so my friend said she, you know, went to the school and, you know, talked to the principal, wanted to meet with the parents. Of course, not of course, but the parent never responded. Um, we don't know if it's a grandparent or is it a parent. But to be so mean at five, I mean, I don't know if you can grow out of that. Or maybe things will happen to make the child not be so mean. But at five years old, it's like a little monster. I mean, what are you going to do next? You know, start you know, putting tax in people's seats or something, but she's being bullied at five, and so, you know, my friend is, is, is at the school, you know, more often and being a little more engaged and talk to the, the, the um, teacher, and they're watching her, but that's really sad to be trying to just go to school so young and being bullied. And I see a lot of things, you know, on the internet, and I read, you know, a lot of articles, 
and um, statistics show that a person that has been being bullied when they come become an adult there is a 45 percent chance that that person will become obese um, that they will more than likely uh, you know obtain um, diseases like you know heart disease they don't you know take care of themselves because a bully is just you know making fun of that person at the moment but that can last a lifetime I mean it could really affect affect a person if you're telling them oh you're fat you know so you you eat out of anxiousness out of embarrassment and those just those little words can affect a person for the rest of their life so bullying is very serious and has a life effect on people you know if you have a child or if you're a bully yourself you know just think about it is it worth the laugh that you're getting that day and in my opinion and based on my experience um bullies are people who have low self-esteem themselves they think less of themselves that's why they're bothering you and nine times out of ten the things they're saying about you are really things about themselves I have a brother, Richard, he says, a long time ago, like a long, I was really young, he's my older brother, and he said, if people are not copying you or talking about you, you're probably not doing anything. So I'm saying that to say, if you're being bullied, someone's calling you ugly, you must really be pretty. If you're being bullied and they're calling you nappy hair, they must really like your natural nappy hair. If you're being bullied you're being called too skinny, they're more than likely fat and want to be skinny. So take their negative attempt and make it positive this is what I would say um how to stop the bullying <sighs> fortunately I had older brothers so we used different tactics during those times to deal with bullying you know or intimidation I don't recommend those tactics at this time not at this day and age what you should do it may seem like you're snitching and you may not feel good about telling you know an authority about it but you should because you have to stop it because if you can let it continue you may take things into your own hand hands and contact the older sibling and we already know that's not going to really end well so you talk to your principal you tell your parents you tell the principal you tell your parent they'll talk to the principal um if that doesn't happen or you have parents that are not you know that engaged or just think you know want to blow you off you go and you tell the principal you tell the teacher Okay, that after that, you talk to the counselor at the school. If that doesn't work, last resort, all of y'all got cell phones. The person start bullying you at school, hey, you've done all you can do, you told everybody you could tell, you call 911. I know it seems extreme, but sometimes you got to just take your life into your own hands. You've told everyone that has authority and power over you and they've done nothing. You call the police and you let the authorities deal with this bully. Let their parents come in and talk now. They more than likely will put them out of the school system. But you politely call 911 because it's an emergency to you. You know, bullies follow you home. They throw sticks at you. They yell things about you. They, you know, they make people cry. So it's, it's a threat. It's a problem. So do it in that order. All that spells you sitting right there in your social studies class. You call 911 probably won't come to that. I'm sure your parent will intervene and the teacher and the principal and the counselor. But if it doesn't, you do whatever you have to do to get your own peace of mind. You should not be being tortured, you know, while you're trying to learn. Um, I read some articles about cyberbullying. You know, that's so out of control. I don't even know what anybody can do con to control that besides don't even engage and be involved don't even respond to whatever they're trying to bully you about online you are who you are you know you are not made as a mistake you're made perfect all of us are made to a uh, perfection okay and whatever flaws you have the next person have the same flaws if not worse so don't even worry about the words okay words are not going to really amount to anything once you don't respond or you do respond and get the proper people involved, that takes away the whole dynamics and the excitement for the bullying. I want to close this by telling you my little experience for bullying, which I was just shocked that it exists. Bullies look for what they think is a weakness in you or whatever you think the insecurity about yourself is. And they try to find people who they think you know, are nice or will let them, you know, get away with their form of intimidation. Unfortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Bullies, um, you cannot judge a book by its cover. 
Um, I had a position where I was working for a um, beauty company, a nail company. And I was there because I was really trying to do some research to see, you know, what some of the good products were. I had it only work part-time. I wasn't there to make a living. I was there to get some discounts and get a bunch of freebies. And just to get a little bit, you know, involved with the corporate part of the beauty industry. And I think the fact that I did not have to work full-time, that first of all, really bothered the person at the job. They couldn't figure out how I was living, which it really was not their business. I hadn't put any thought into them because they're, they're a non-factor. At any rate, um, they couldn't figure out me. You know, they didn't know anything about me because at a job, you know, you mind your own business. I don't really, you know, befriend people a lot at jobs because I have enough friends and family and it takes a while for me to warm up to people. And they were, she was substantially younger than me, but what she didn't remember because she forgot to look in the mirror she's also was substantially fatter than me and I knew that she was insecure about that and so she made a reference to you know she hopes that when she gets older she doesn't have to work and all of that had no idea about my finances no idea of my education or anything and she made that statement you know to me and I just said well I'm not really concerned about what you said I'm very accustomed to fat mean girls she was so upset. You're talking about the fall of a big whale. And I have nothing against heavy people because I'm sure compared to somebody else, I'm considered a heavy person. That isn't the point. The point is she tried to find a weakness of what she thought was a demeaning comment about me because she didn't know my financial educational level. So she tried to attack that, not even taking into account that she was an ugly whale. And because she was such a bully, it made her even uglier. I mean, she probably is cute on a, on a Friday night after six drinks and dim light. She probably is. But her attitude and was just, just terrible. Do you know at the end of the day, she ended up crying. She had to leave work. She was so upset. So I took.